we're gonna import our random module and then we're gonna import our time module. I'll explain why in a second. We're gonna create a variable x and let it equal true. Here's why. We're going to use a while loop that will execute a block of code while x equals true. It can be written like this or like this. Then, inside of our while loop, we are going to use our time module and type in time.sleep in our parameter as 0.5. Because since this is a while loop, the code block is going to be executed until x is no longer true. So we want to give this process a bit of delay. Then, we are going to use a for loop and initialize a variable called i, where i equals each random number from 1 through 10 that has been created while x has been true. We get our random 1 through 10 number using our random the module and adding dot rand int which stands for random integer and then we're going to set its parameter to 1 and 10 and then inside of our for loop code block down here we're going to check if i which is our random number is equal to 5 and if it is we are going to print hello world and we are going to set x to false which will stop the entire loop since the loop will only execute if x is true. However, if i is not equal to 5, which we will check by using an else statement, we are going to print i and then print another string saying checking new number, which will start the loop all over again. And these two blocks of code will continue to execute until the random number i equals 5 and then sets x to false. So if we run this, the code is going to continuously output random numbers, and if that random number is equal to 5, hello world will be outputted and the loop will stop. Tell me how else you you want to see me print hello world.